Permaculture in Society. One Community Weekly Progress Update, number 513. One Community is a 501c3 nonprofit organization. We are creating open source and free shared blueprints and resources, tools and tutorials, and do it yourself instructions for highest good living. Creating solution models that create additional solution creating models in the service of all life on this planet. This includes highest good approaches to food, energy, housing, education, for-profit and non-profit business creation, society, and true earth stewardship. My name is Jay Sable and I'm the executive director of the One Community 501c3 nonprofit organization. One Community is bringing together people with the consciousness and the desire for the highest good of all life on this planet to build sustainable, <clears throat> excuse me, and regenerative self-replicating <laughs> self teacher demonstration hubs as a pathway to global sustainability. Uh, this is our January 22nd, 2023 edition of our weekly progress update. And today's topic is permaculture in society. Imagine if we could build a society that lived cohesively with nature and lived abundantly, produced such abundance that it could share that abundance with others and was designed to help other people to create sustainable ecosystems as well, such that they would be able to continue on their own because they provided such an amazing lifestyle and such amazing living experience that people would be motivated to maintain those environments and to keep those environments thriving because they were so wonderful for themselves, their family, their friends, and the planet, that it was creating a win-win environment for everybody involved. Imagine if we could create something like that. Hey, you know what? We can! Good news! You know, everything you see happening in the background of this video is one community's model for that. We are open sourcing and free sharing <clears throat> permaculture in society. And permaculture, my definition of permaculture, is that it's mimicking nature's ways that work and and supporting that and creating a symbiotic relationship with that so that we leverage those types of strategies, those patterns, those successful uh, symbiotic relationships and become a symbiotic relationship with that and it's about stewardship. Well, imagine if we did that to our entire for our entire existence. What if we did that for all aspects of the human living experience and created the next evolution of the living experience, plug for Jack, read, thank you, Next Evolution, amazing book if you haven't read it, the next level, if you've never read it, uh, the next evolution of the human experience such that we can redefine the way that people live as one that is not only sustainable but much more enriching and fulfilling than the way that people live right now as well. This, I would say, is permaculture in society, and this is one of the foundational tenets and goals of one community, is to create a new way of living and to demonstrate a new paradigm of living, the next evolution of the human experience, such that you know we can show a better way and make it easy enough, affordable enough, and demonstrates attractive enough, that's that better way, so that the idea will spread on its own. To create a thriving human ecosystem that is symbiotic with nature and the planet and designed to spread and teach other people how to live symbiotically, collaboratively, and cooperatively with each other and with the planet too, and to demonstrate such abundance that we can achieve that tipping point, that critical mass to positively and permanently impact the lives of everyone and everything on this planet. That I think is the ultimate permaculture goal is to demonstrate humanity as stewards of this planet in a way that's not about sacrifice. It's actually about abundance and thriving and people living better lives, having more time and more things to do with that time than they do in the current system. It's redefining the living experience as one that is one of stewardship and cooperation and collaboration instead of competition and showing what's possible with that and giving that gift to humanity and the planet. And so we are open sourcing and free sharing that. And how do we do that? Like how do you open source and free share that? Like that's a pretty grandiose idea of redefining the way that people live. Well, 
you know, you look at the foundations, the physical foundations of sustainability, and you combine those with the emotional foundations of sustainability to create a better way of living that most people will objectively say is significantly better than the way they're living right now. And the way that we do that is by addressing all of those components and open sourcing and free sharing them and putting them together in one model so people can come and experience it and decide for themselves if what they see is something that they'd like to replicate. And open sourcing and free sharing is such that all the individual components can be replicated as well. So if people look at that and they say, no, I don't want that, they can still replicate <clears throat> any aspect of it that they do want. And so the physical foundations that we're focusing on are food, energy, and housing. And the emotional foundations that we're focused on are what we call highest good approaches to fulfilled living, highest good approaches to education, economics, and true earth stewardship. And we're putting all of these things together as the comprehensive, complete teacher demonstration uh, community, village, city, or hub designed to teach other people how to create teacher demonstration hubs as well. You know, and so a lot of people have heard uh, the old saying, you know, don't teach a person to fish, don't don't give a person a fish, teach a person to fish. Well, we are teaching fishing. We're teaching people how to teach fishing. <clears throat> That's what one community is all about. And so everything you see happening in the background of this video here is what we're open sourcing and free sharing as part of that. You know, our idea of permaculture in society is to teach everybody how to do permaculture in society, to open source and free share it. So people that don't want the complete model of all this stuff I just described, for people who would just like to grow something they've never grown or to buy, to be able to grow something that they can't buy in the grocery store or because they like fresher food or they want to know for sure that there's no genetically modified food or that there's no herbicides, pesticides, or other poisons, fungicides sprayed on their food, you know, to be able to say, hey, here's how you can do that. Or for people who want to um, build an off grid home and want to understand exactly how much it costs to be able to run the wiring to that home and to be able, if they want to set up themselves with a grid tie and a backup <clears throat> as their backup to their solar system, or if they want to be 100% off grid, like we've already done that tutorial, you know, or if they want to build themselves a radically sustainable home that's going to last hundreds of years longer than their current home, it's going to be more artistic than the home that they're living in right now, it's built with non-toxic materials, you know, that's earthbed construction as one example. You know, or just if they want to participate in the fulfilled living aspects of one community, which we will be live streaming and sharing that way as well. You know, or if they want to participate in the open source education program or launch something like that in their own lives. All the different components are being designed. The stewardship aspect, you know, we've already done all the research on the most sustainable and best approach for small communities, like any group of 50 people to get together and to deal with plastic, styrofoam, clothing. You know, all of these different things. We've already glass. We've already addressed that paper. You know, and so this is our idea for permaculture and society is bringing together a global cooperative and collaborative of people interested in creating a better world for everybody and creating it open source and free shared so that anybody who wants to can participate and demonstrating it as one community, a place that people can come and stay at and experience what it all looks like when we put all these things together in one place so that they can make a decision on whether or not they would want to work together with other like-minded people that share their values to create something similar, or if they just like to pick and choose pieces of what it is that we're doing and implement that, or if they look at it and they're like, nah, none of this is interesting to me, and, you know, that was a fun vacation, but not for me. Whatever people want, we want to be able to provide something for everyone, even if it's just an interesting place to come and visit. But what we really want to provide is a path to global sustainability and a self-replicating model designed to create global sustainability and a sustainable civilization through permaculture and society applied globally within one generation through a self-replicating model because it's easy enough, affordable enough, and demonstrate as attractive enough so that the idea will spread on its own and providing all the hopes and plans to facilitate that process as quickly and efficiently and for the highest good as possible. This is what one community is up to. This is our idea for creating world change and permaculture and society. So if you like what we're up to, you'd like a weekly dose of positivity, uh, subscribe to our YouTube channel. Like the video if you'd like to help us out in the easiest way possible. Uh, subscribe to our newsletter if you'd like to receive an email, one email a week with our weekly progress update in it. If you'd like to see all the specifics of all the open source tools, and resources and content we've created, uh, visit our website. If you'd like to see the specifics of what every volunteer on our team has done in just the last week, visit our weekly progress update blog, and of course, if you'd like the helping page.
page. And of course, if you like the easiest way ever to help us out, other than liking uh, and subscribing, like stick around for another couple of minutes to see the highlights of what our project is all about, helps our algorithm. And um, yeah, thanks for watching. Till next week, we will, of course, keep on keeping on. Thanks. The one community approach to highest good housing is eco-artistic home building that is affordable, sustainable, do-it-yourself duplicable, resource and space efficient, and consists of seven different sustainably constructed village models. One community is also creating an open source duplicable city center. It is designed to be LEED Platinum certified, provide 12 guest rooms, dining for over 150 people, and laundry and recreation space for over 300 people, all while saving money, time, space, and resources. One community's approach to highest good food is duplicable almost anywhere, scalable for different needs, more biodiverse and nutritious, part of forwarding a global open source botanical garden collaborative and includes nine different free shared and duplicable growing environments. One community's approach to highest good education is designed for all age groups, adaptable to any schooling environment, inspiring and fun for all participants, includes national standards, all subjects, lesson plans, teaching strategies, learning strategies and tools, classroom design, and more. The one community approach to highest good society is globally focused, individually enriching, cooperative and collaborative, includes a highest good network and application, four different economic models, and combines fulfilled living and true earth stewardship for the benefit of all people and all life on this planet.